Okay, so apparently my last video got cut off because my phone didn't have enough space on it because I have a gazillion videos on there. So I had to delete that and um, so now we can pick up where we left off. But like I said before, um, the only cause for concern on my metabolic results had to do with the factory in my body that deals with bacterial metabolism. And I guess that's just the way that my body handles bacteria because, you know, there are good bacteria and bad bacteria in my body. And there are five workers in that factory, um, parahydroxybenzoate, parahydroxyphenylacetate, 2-hydroxyphenylacetate, 3-indoleacetate, and tricarbolate or whatever. Anyway, those are the five workers in that factory, and apparently three out of those five workers have been calling in sick a lot and aren't doing their job, and it's affecting my body's ability to handle its bacteria properly. So, um... This book actually also gives some suggestions of ways to deal with that, and it turns out one of the, the pill supplements I've been taking for L-tyrosine that I started taking a couple weeks ago is actually one of the ones that I should be taking for this. Um, and, and actually what will be helping uh, this factory or these workers in this factory work better as well will be identifying my food allergies and so avoiding foods that I'm allergic to and things like that. So all of this really ties into this idea of kind of weight gain and food allergies because from what I've learned so far, um, your metabolism is you know, the core of it is, um, is at the kind of cellular level. And if you're eating foods that you are allergic to, then that actually affects your body on a cellular level and it affects your body's ability to metabolize food. So, you know, so food allergies are pretty major, especially with regard to weight loss. So it's very crucial that you be aware of what food allergies you're aware of before you begin trying to lose weight. Because if you're eating the wrong foods, it doesn't really matter what you do. Your body's not going to be able to burn fat because... It's just not functioning properly. And inside of my doctor's office, there's this funny, um, it's not funny. I don't even know why I said that. But there's a poster that talks about reasons why you should, why you're not losing weight. And it talks about, you know, all the different factors why. But it says that it's not about losing weight to get healthy. You get healthy so that you can lose weight. So I think a lot of us have us have it backwards. We think, well, let's lose, lose the weight first and then we'll get healthy. But the bottom line is if you are healthy, your body's going to maintain a natural weight anyway. So if your body's not maintaining a natural weight, you're not healthy. There's something else going on. And what I've learned is that once you figure out what's going on and you fix that, your body will start to burn the fat. And that's what's been happening with me. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the urinary metabolic profile. But in general, you know, like every time I go to that doctor, that to multi-care health, just finding out what's going on with my body. I live with this body every day. And to know that for most of my life, I had no idea how it was functioning is pretty scary. Um, but now that I am finding out, I'm very empowered because now once I go off HCG, um, and even just starting my rest period, and then I may go on HCG one more time, and then from there, kind of getting into the maintenance phase. Maintenance is going to be a lot more easier because I don't have to be afraid about whether or not I'm going to gain weight because now I know why I was not able to burn fat before. So it takes this whole mystery out of having a height weight proportionate body. And so I just feel very empowered. This whole process has been completely amazing to me. And to say that it's changed my life would be an understatement to just now know my body. Um, and to know that simple things, I'm allergic to vanilla, I'm allergic to chocolate, I'm allergic to peanuts, I'm allergic to to oats and to whole wheat. Like I know what to stay away from and now I know what foods I can eat that will keep me healthy so that my body will just burn the weight. Burning fat is not a difficult thing. Your body does it easily when it's healthy. So I reiterate this once again is know how your body is functioning before you start trying to lose weight, especially if you have a lot of weight to, weight to lose like a hundred pounds or more, you know, like me. So, um, it, it just, it, it helps to clear your mind. It, it unburdens your mind because I think when you're overweight for a really long time, you really do start to feel like your body is no longer in control. Well, that's not the truth. Your body is completely under your control. You just have to know where it's at first. And once you learn that, then you have the, the tips that you need to be able to keep your body healthy. So um, I think probably in a couple of days when I'm done with HCG and I start the rest period, I'll talk to you a little bit about what that entails, You know, what I can eat, what I can't eat. Um, but there's a lot that I can eat. So I'm really excited about that because HCG was starting to wear on me because I just really 
didn't know how to be creative with such a limited list of foods. But I do know by the time I go on HCG again, I'm going to have a better plan of action because ultimately I would love to be able to lose 30 on HCG, maybe another 20 uh, or at least 15 to 20 next month during my rest period and then maybe another 15. So what is that? 30, 50. So like between 50 and 60 pounds by the end of October. So love and peace and blessings. Oh, at least how do I stop this?